Hello everyone, welcome to my podcast and my YouTube channel. Um, I have to set my phones down. I'll do my best to project my voice. Deep breath everyone, how are you all doing? I'm kind of anxious right now. I've been sounding off and complaining about my problems with my limerent person. And I would like to transform my limerent person in my mind and in my heart and in my spirit. And in God's name, I want to transform my limerent interest into my sister right now. She's a human being. She's not an object. That, that's why I don't call her my limerent object, as many experts call limerent interests. They call them limerent objects. I don't believe that limerent people, people were limerent on her, that I'm limerent on her objects. I believe their interests. They are, they are individuals that I'm interested in, but they're not objects ever. They're people, they're sentient beings, they have feelings and needs. And uh, my, my limerent interest definitely has feelings, issues, and needs. Her name is Olga. I'll just uh, give her a pseudonym, Olga Lavender. And... She's a Russian person that I've been limerent on for about a year. Again, I'm not I'm not giving away her identity. This is a this is a uh, fictional identity, but the person that I am talking about is a real person in my life. I'm protecting her anonymity and her identity. And if she's on uh, YouTube or listening or watching, or if she's on if she's anywhere online, she's watching or listening to me. I have protected her identity. She may know who she is, but no one else knows who she is. And no one, re- no, no one really knows who I am unless they recognize my face sometimes when I'm on video. All right, I'm Carol. My uh, spiritual internet name is Turquoise. And my YouTube name is Turquoise. I'm starting to have a little bit of a panic attack right now because I'm getting ahead of myself. Lord, please help me slow down. Let's take a deep breath, everyone. Let's pray this up. She's not an object. She's a person. I love her like a sister. Yes, I've had desire for her, but that's inconsequential. Although my feelings are real and and need to be validated, it's God's way of bonding us to have a family unit, whether we're gay or straight. But I've been advised that Olga is straight, and I've been advised by my mentor and and God not to bond with her for that reason, to bond with her like a sister. Well, my sister is in the hospital right now, and um, mental illness is a really tricky thing, you guys. In my experience and in my learning experience, mental illness is really tricky. It will sound very rational, whether it's a little a little bad thought here and there or a self-destructive idea. And again, if you don't feel safe, call 988. I promise I will check in somewhere if I am not safe. I don't know if Olga told me yesterday that she wasn't safe. She's a little hard to understand verbally, but she told me she's going in for psychiatric purposes. And I've honored and respected that wish. And um, I don't know if I'll see her today or in a few days or a week. Or ever. I don't know. When when someone disappears into the hospital, if they don't give you permission to uh, communicate with them or visit them, you have to wait till they come out because of confidentiality. So I have no idea when she's coming out. I'm praying on her, praying on me, um, praying. And I'm saying, Lord, keep her safe. Um, Van told me... Uh, She's safe. She's in good hands. And uh, I'm turning over missing her to the Lord because I miss her. I'm probably not going to see her today. And if I do see her, I need to see her as a person with needs and abilities and capabilities and issues and desires. And yes, desires. And she's probably straight. Oh, I need to treat her like that.
If I'm silent, it's because I've been instructed to be still right now. My thoughts are racing right now. Help me, Lord, to see her as a person. Help me, Lord, to see her as my sister. Help me release her into your hands, Lord. She has needs right now. And um, whether or not she played with me on the telephone, according to my other videos, whether or not she... Um, whether or not she played games with me, whether or not uh, she manipulated me, whether or not she uh, lied to me and said her phone was broken. I release that now into your hands, Lord. She needed to do that. I know she needed to do that to push me away, maybe, or, or maybe, you know, I, I don't think her phone really was broken. It works, but... That's none of my business. If she used that as a tactic to push me away, help me forgive her, Lord. Help me forgive myself for uh, making assumptions if that was what I was doing. You told me not to be troubled by my own fear. And you told me that if she's sinning and bearing false witness and lying to me, that's her sin. Her problem. I have to let, let her go release her and um, if you're teaching me how to love her like a sister at the IOP this is the way you're, you're teaching me how to love her like a sister so uh, Lord I release her in your name if I have desire for her I release it no this is not aversion therapy guys this is not aversion therapy this is my own experience and this is my struggle and my experience with having a, a gay crush on someone and it not being reciprocated. <sighs> Unrequited love does not convert a person to uh, heterosexuality, but it does set some boundaries. And it reminds me that there is natural selection, there is God's will, and I have no control over other people's desires or non-desires towards me. And I have I have no control over my own my own desires except turning them over. So um, let this be a prayer. Let this be an affirmation. Let this be a declaration of my own experience and. I hope this helps some people if they're struggling with something similar. I pray that uh, Olga is safe. I pray that there are no bad side effects with the medication she is taking. I pray that she is under some good care. And I pray that, that I am safe too. She and I are individuals. My path may or may not cross with hers. And it's in your hands, Lord. And help me pray this rightly and help me turn this over rightly to you. In your name. Amen. Be safe, everyone.